Poodles, like other dogs, experience skin issues. Some of these skin problems have hereditary undertones. Some of the skin issues occur in just one of the three breed sizes, which are miniature, toy, or standard. In this video, we'll be looking at common skin issues that affect poodles and how you can prevent them. Allergies Poodles are known to have allergies, most of which are contact allergies. Just like humans, your poodle can develop an allergy to ragweed, grass, or cleaning products. You have to be observant around your poodle as you can easily identify what they're allergic to. They can also be allergic to certain food or to parasite bites. How often does your poodle scratch themselves? If you notice your poodle chewing or licking their feet often, or the skin has turned red or hot, she may be suffering an allergy. Through skin or blood testing, your vet can diagnose your poodle's allergy. Your vet might also place your poodle on a prescription diet to rule out food allergies. Prevention tips You can change your poodle's diet to exclude common allergens like beef and corn. You can also use hypoallergenic detergent to wash your poodle's beddings. You can also control your poodle's movement outside so they don't come in contact with plant allergens. These will definitely keep your poodle's allergies under control. Demodectic mange From what we've seen, all dogs harbor tiny demodec mites on their bodies including poodles. Demodec mites usually have no effect on their hosts and most mites that live on dogs are not transferable to people and cats so they can relax and focus on tackling the mange. Localized demodetic mange usually affects two areas on your poodle's body with four visible spots. Generalized demodetic mange can result in your poodle developing patchy fur and going bald all over. Localized demodetic mange is currently not treatable while you can treat generalized demodetic with medication. Prevention tips You can prevent demodetic mange by ensuring a stress-free and parasite-free environment. You can also prevent demodetic mange by giving your poodle a high-quality diet. You may also consider spaying your female poodle if she has suffered generalized demodetic mange, so she doesn't transfer it to her puppies. If you're finding this video useful, please give it a like. Sebaceous adenitis Sebaceous adenitis is a disease that affects more than 30 breeds of dogs, including poodles. You need to understand that sebaceous adenitis is inherited. It's an allergy that affects the hair follicles and lubrication of the skin. What breed is your poodle? Sebaceous adenitis affects mostly standard poodles, but they have been identified in miniature and toy poodles as well. In poodles, sebaceous adenitis can be subclinical, meaning the disease is operating from inside the poodle and not visible on the skin. Your vet will have to do a skin punch test or biopsy to diagnose sebaceous adenitis. Sometimes, this disease might be confused with hypothyroidism. What symptoms of sebaceous adenitis should you look out for? Your poodle might develop flaky, scaly, or peeling skin. They suffer hair loss and may develop odors and sores. The disease causes the skin to be itchy, so your poodle might scratch continuously. You can use prednisone, tetracycline, and mineral oil soaks to treat sebaceous adenitis. You can bathe your poodle with medicated shampoo about three times a week to wipe out any remainder. Prevention Tips Use medicated shampoo to bathe your poodle from an early age and consult a vet for more advice. Cushing's Disease Cushing's disease is a prominent poodle skin disease. It's caused by too much of the hormone cortisol. It comes in three forms, which are cortisone-related, pituitary-dependent, and non-pituitary, adrenal. If your dog is suffering from Cushing's disease, they will experience extreme thirst and appetite. They'll have thinning hair and skin. Your poodle will also experience change in hair texture and will suffer hair loss. Your poodle's skin will bruise easily, and you may notice some pimples appearing on the skin. Dogs that have been given excessive steroids can suffer Cushing's disease in the long run. You may begin to look out for the disease if your poodle is middle-aged or older, because it affects the older age group more. And if your poodle is diagnosed with pituitary-dependent Cushing's disease, which is the most common type, they'll have to take medication to control the disease for the rest of their lives. If your poodle is diagnosed with the adrenal-dependent form of the disease, that means there's a tumor in the adrenal gland that will have to be surgically removed. Prevention Tips Unfortunately, Cushing's disease cannot be prevented if it's caused by a pituitary or adrenal gland. However, you can stop long-term use of steroids to reduce the risk of iatrogenic Cushing's disease. Hypothyroidism in Poodles 
Yeah, poodles can suffer hypothyroidism. This happens when the thyroid glands are no longer able to produce enough hormones. It's quite common among poodles, actually. If your poodle is suffering from hypothyroidism, you'll notice the skin thickening, and you'll notice a change in the skin pigment. Also, your poodle will show signs of excessive dryness and hair loss. Poodles with hypothyroidism will experience constant hunger, feel extremely cold, and lethargy will set in. Your vet will take a blood test to give your poodle a diagnosis. The good news is that once diagnosed, your vet will prescribe a daily thyroid pill, which will take care of the problem, but the medication will be for life. Has your poodle ever suffered hypothyroidism? How are you handling it? Please let me know in the comments. Pyoderma Pyoderma in poodles is a result of underlying Cushing's disease or hypothyroidism. Pyoderma, which translates to pus in the skin, is of three basic types. There's the surface pyoderma, also called hotspot, which is characterized by itching. The affected area releases a very bad smell. The superficial pyoderma, which are like huge pimples or boils. The third type is deep pyoderma, which actually drains pus. Your vet will take a test, which involves checking the pyoderma exudate to determine the bacteria involved. Hotspots respond to topical therapy, but deep and superficial pyodermas will involve oral antibiotics. Your vet will probably recommend some antibacterial shampoos to treat the skin infection. You have to be vigilant over your poodle so you don't miss the initial symptoms of poodle skin diseases. Early diagnosis can make a big change in your poodle's health, so a regular visit to the vet will be helpful. Malassezia Dermatitis You'll easily recognize this skin disease, Malassezia Dermatitis, by your nose. Yeah, it's not itchy, but smelly. Poodles in hot, humid climates are mostly its victims. It's caused by overactive yeast production. Check your poodle's feet, groin, muzzle, and lips. If it's effective, you'll find reddened skin with yellowish-green scales. All these go with a terrible odor. If the disease is severe, your poodle may experience hair loss and may contract ear infection. To diagnose accurately, your vet will take a skin scraping from your poodle. Prevention tips? You can bathe your poodle every week with a medicated shampoo to prevent this stinky skin problem. Like we advise, always consult your vet before changing your pet's diet, medication, or routines. Scaling Skin Poodles, especially standard poodles, can experience exfoliative dermatosis, which refers to a variety of skin disorders that cause scaling skin. Any dog can suffer scaling skin, but standard poodles are most susceptible to it. Symptoms include dandruff, itchiness, hair loss, and greasy coat. Your vet will most likely prescribe a topical medication and a moisturizing pigment because bathing, which is necessary for removing the scales, tends to dry the skin heavily. It's also important to know that elderly poodles can become sensitive to products used for their coats due to having had many products used on them. This can result in scaling skin. Also, reduced production of oil from oil glands can cause scaling skin in old poodles. In such cases, you'll see lumps or bumps. Your vet will recommend the best shampoo for your dog, which may have to be more natural and less chemical. You can also add omega oil to your poodle's food and feed them with food rich with salmon. These will help check the scaling skin. For your poodle to have healthy skin, you have to be mindful of their diet, their allergies, and be very watchful for symptoms. A regular visit to your vet is essential because early diagnosis is important in the treatment process. Always consult with your vet before taking any bold step. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't.